Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited to show you the outfit I made for the Stylemaker Fabrics booth at Sew Expo. Let's start with the dress. This is the Deer and Doe Maya Sotis dress pattern. I made the version with the short sleeves and simple skirt hem. The collar, bodice, and skirt are all underlined and the sleeves aren't, leaving them slightly sheer. This embroidered cotton fabric is seriously so cute, but man, it's narrow. After pre-washing, it measured only 36 inches wide. And since the Myasota skirt is gathered, the larger sizes of the pattern will not fit in the width of the fabric. So you have a couple of options on how to handle that, but I just cut the fabric as wide as I possibly could on the fold and gathered it into my bodice just with fewer gathers. You could also cut the skirt in a single layer and have a center seam, but of course you'd be able to see that through the fabric. I also cut the largest size for the length of the skirt. The myosotis is a bit on the shorter side as drafted and I wanted to make sure it was long enough for my taste. After making those few changes when cutting, the dress sewed up like a breeze and came together super quickly. Next up is the jacket. This is the Deer and Doe Ninu Far jacket and it's about as straightforward as it gets. I sewed view A with the plain sleeves and patch pockets. I did not make any adjustments to the pattern and cut and sewed it exactly as directed. The fabric is the perfect chambray for a spring and summer jacket as it is lightweight and breathable but still holds the shape of a jacket. Fabric structure is particularly important for this pattern's design because you want to maintain the A-line shape of the bodice but still be lightweight enough for the season. And can we talk for a second about the notch collar? It's such a simple collar to sew and adds such a great detail to the jacket. I love how it looks over the mandarin collar of the dress. The patch pockets are the perfect size and complement the jacket perfectly. And finally, let's talk about this super cute bag. This is the noodle head traverse bag pattern in the mini size. It has a zippered back pocket, zippered top, and a flap that conceals a front compartment too. It's a small bag, but it is mighty. The fabric is an awesome jacquard. You could really use either side. It does fray quite a bit after cutting, but other than that, it was a breeze to work with. And how about this perfectly matched gingham lining? I just love gingham and stripes together. As for the hardware, I used a D-ring and swivel snap hooks instead of the rectangle ring. This allows some freedom for the strap and prevents it from getting twisted. It's really just a personal preference on how you attach the strap to the bag. And I can't forget to talk about the adorable tassel. These are such a sweet and professional finish that I love adding to exposed zippers on bags. Okay, there you have it. I really love this outfit and I cannot wait to wear it all spring and summer long. I hope you like it as much as I do. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you all soon. Bye.